What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. And today I've got a story time for you guys that is about a subscriber that, uh, you know, ended up doing something really stupid when he was a younger kid. I guess for some reason when kids at his school started trading Yu-Gi-Oh cards, he wanted to get in on it. But instead of bringing Yu-Gi-Oh cards, he stole a pair of diamond earrings from his mom, traded them from Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and they never ended up getting them back, bro. Homie really just fumbled the bag out here. Regardless, I just figured it would be a pretty funny video for you guys to watch, so uh, without further ado, that's what we're gonna be talking about. Press the like button or no joke, no scam. Someone's gonna steal your future spouse's diamond earrings or yours, you know, whatever floats your boat, and you don't want that to happen, so uh, yeah, press the like button and let's get into it. Alright, so I think every school back in like the early 2000s had a phase where trading cards were insanely popular. At my school, we had Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, you know. For a little bit, Bakugan got insanely popular as well, Magic the Gathering, like, card games were just always kind of, like, this secret underground trade economy at our school, I guess. You know, we weren't really aware that that's what it was, but, like, yeah, you could definitely trade Pokemon cards for favors and stuff in school, and it just was what it was. And I guess Yu-Gi-Oh! was the sensation at this particular guy's school, you know, it was the game that took everything by storm that everybody was playing, and for some reason, his parents just really didn't like the game Yu-Gi-Oh! They thought that, like, the art was demonic or whatever ever, and that, like, it was gonna turn him into a bad kid. And listen, Yu-Gi-Oh!'s art is definitely pretty sick, in my opinion. Like, I like it, and, uh, I don't really necessarily think that it's gonna turn you into Satan, but whatever. Sometimes parents are just kind of weird about stuff. And, uh, I'm not a parent, so I'm not gonna judge him, but, you know, they didn't really want him playing with Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. That being said, when everyone at school is doing something and you're, like, the only kid not doing it, you tend to feel really left out. So, one day, he's talking to these kids who have a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, and he explains the situation, you know, my parents won't let me get Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so is there anything that I could bring you that, like, you guys want? And, uh, you know, one of the kids is sitting there, they're, like, young, they don't really know what they're saying. He goes, yeah, if you could get me a pair of earrings for my girlfriend, that would be sick. I guess Valentine's Day was coming up, and so he agrees that he's gonna get this dude a pair of earrings, and he's gonna give him a deck of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Now, like I said, when you're a young kid, you don't really understand, like, the value of things, you don't really understand what's going on, you just understand that if you get some earrings and you give them to this guy, you're gonna get Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So as soon as he gets home from school, he runs up into his mom's room and just like walks over to this jewelry box he has and starts going through everything. And he's looking and she has some pearl earrings, you know, some really big diamond earrings and he doesn't touch those. But he sees these, like, you know, decently sized diamond earrings, and he thinks that because they're small, that, you know, they're probably, like, the ones that she won't notice. So he takes them, and, uh, he goes and definitely just hides them in his room, and is like, awesome, I got the earrings, next day I'm gonna be able to get my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And, you know, his mom doesn't really notice at first. It's not like every day she's going through her jewelry box trying to make sure that her young kid's not stealing from it. I don't feel like that's something that most parents are usually worried about because most kids aren't dumb enough to do this. But the next day comes, he goes to school, he gives the guy the earrings, he gets like, you know, a hundred Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and he feels like he made a really good trade. He did get some pretty sick cards, you know, he got Blue-Eyed White Dragon, he got, uh, you know, Dark Magician, like, he got some pretty sick cards, don't get it twisted, but definitely not, <laughs> not worth the value that he ended up trading it for. But he's hyped, you know, he ends up playing Yu-Gi-Oh with some kids, trading some more, and he actually, like, feels included in everything going on, and he's hyped about it. He goes home, and he's in a great mood, you know, and everything's great. His dad had picked him up, and his dad's like, wow, why are you in a great mood? And he tells his dad, oh, I got these Yu-Gi-Oh cards, da 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 and he's explaining it to him, and the dad's like, I thought we told you not to play that game. And he kind of just gave his dad the whole, everyone's doing it, come on, just please don't tell mom. So now his dad is kind of, like, roped into keeping this a secret from his mom, right? That'll be important later. So whatever, his dad knows he has these Yu-Gi-Oh cards, he says he has to hide them from his mom, but they do that. And for about a week, there's like no problem, he's going to school with his Yu-Gi-Oh cards, he's playing Yu-Gi-Oh, he's trading them, he's having himself a good time. But, you know, there's a weekend and his parents end up having to go out and do something, and his mom's getting ready and she kinda starts looking around the house, kinda starts to panic a little bit, and his dad's like, hey, what's wrong? And she's like, oh my god, the diamond earrings that my mom gave me, like the real diamond earrings I have are missing 
missing. And when she says that, you know, the kid kinda starts to sweat a little bit. Like, you know when someone starts saying something, he genuinely wasn't trying to steal, like, the most valuable pair of earrings. He just had accidentally taken the real diamonds, you know? Obviously, the giant fake diamond earrings that were just kinda there were one thing. The reason these were quote-unquote small is because they were actually diamonds from her mom. So the husband's like, ah, oh, come on, they probably just got misplaced, you know? We'll go look through your jewelry box. So they look through the jewelry box. Nothing there, obviously, because it's not there. They start tearing apart the house, bro. And at this point, they're kind of freaking out. Um, obviously, when you lose something that's, like, very valuable like that, it's not a very fun feeling. So they're kind of, like, looking. And the kid is just kind of sitting there with this look on his face, feeling incredibly guilty. He probably should feel incredibly guilty, considering what's going on. But his parents kind of realize he's being incredibly quiet, not saying anything, and not helping them look. So they're kind of like, hey, do you have any idea what happens to the earrings? And the kid, who, you know, is a terrible liar, which is a blessing and a curse, is like, nah, nah, I have no idea. And they instantly can tell he's lying. And they're like, okay, well, come on, what happened to the earrings? Like, this isn't a joke, we need to find them, they're worth a lot of money, they're special to your mom. And the kid is like, um, I took them to school. And the parents are like, okay, well, why would you take it to school? Why would you take diamond earrings to school? And he goes, because I wanted Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And at that point, the dad is like, you traded your mom's diamond earrings for those Yu-Gi-Oh cards? And the mom is like, you knew our son had Yu-Gi-Oh cards and didn't say anything? Now everyone's in trouble, bro. This is just not a good situation for anyone involved. The kid is in trouble because obviously stealing diamond earrings and getting contraband ain't good. The husband's in trouble. The mom's pissed. The earrings are gone. And the kid is like grounded. You know, he's in insane amounts of trouble. The parents are fighting. They end up working that out. And they decide that they're gonna have to go to the school and like try to get the school to, to round up all the kids and get the diamond earrings back. Like they're gonna have to try to do that. Alright guys, I'm gonna interrupt the video for just one second. On screen now is actually an Xbox gift card. For those of you that don't know, I give away a gift card in every single video here on this channel as a way to say thank you to people subscribing and turning on those notifications. So if you haven't already, sub, turn on notifications so you never miss another video. And if you are already subscribed with notifications on, then thank you very much for supporting the channel. It means a lot, and then I'll shut up and get back to the video. Thanks. And the kid is, like, begging his parents not to do that because he knew that they would, like, shut down Yu-Gi-Oh! And, like, it was gonna cause all these problems. But at that point, his parents don't care, and I can't even say I blame him, bro. There's a little bit bigger problems right now other than, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments that you guys are having at recess. So a school day comes, they go to the school, and sure enough, all the Yu-Gi-Oh! kids are rounded up, you know, and they start asking who has the diamond earrings, who, who traded them, who had this, who had this. Well, the kid that had gotten them for his girlfriend, obviously because they're young, they had broken up by the time he got them, so he had traded them to this kid for some Pokemon cards, who had traded them to this kid for a Game Boy game, and pretty quickly it comes out that they have no clue where the earrings are. They had been traded, like... 50 times by that point around the school, somebody had lost one at one point, like, there's just no way that they're going to get these earrings back. And at that point, his mom is incredibly upset, you know, she's, she's super distraught because, like, they were a gift from her mom, they were very sentimentally important, and the kid is just kind of sitting there realizing that he did all of this for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And so his parents are pissed and they're like, do you have anything to say for yourself? And he starts apologizing and says that, like, he didn't know they were valuable. And his parents point out that it doesn't matter. Like, regardless, he still was stealing from his mom for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And he starts crying, feeling bad. So there's, like, a, a whole episode of Jerry Springer going on in this, like, principal's office. They've interviewed all the kids. They have no clue where the earrings are. And at that point, they're like, all right, well, you know, um, we've, we've stopped everyone from playing. But, like, there's nothing we can do. So, the parents have to go home, they're not gonna be able to get that stuff back, which obviously is, is not the ideal situation for them. And the kid on the way home has the balls to ask his parents if they can stop and get McDonald's, you know. And his parents start screaming at him, being like, are you kidding me right now? You just lost your mom's diamond earrings for some stupid pieces of cardboard, and now, now you want to stop at McDonald's. What's wrong with you? And he starts crying again, bro. Like, he just didn't really understand what was the deal. Which, listen, it's not really an excuse, bro. I'm sorry. You can't just, like, steal your mom's stuff and then be like, wah, wah, give me McDonald's, wah. You only get a happy meal when your parents are also happy, I believe. That that's kind of the, the rules. 
Anyways, they go home and his dad kind of sits him down and says that he's going to have to like work to pay back the money that he had lost um, from the earrings. And the kid's like, well, I'm a kid. I can't really work. And they end up telling him that, nope, they had actually gone to the neighbors, you know, and uh, he was going to be mowing their lawns for the summer in order to like pay them back for, you know, losing the earring. And he did it, bro. They actually forced him to do all the work, which is good. He, he learned his lesson. But yeah, homie literally stole a pair of diamond earrings to trade them for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That might be one of the best trades of all time, though. Like, the kid that got away with taking those diamond earrings, low-key, banger. I still don't necessarily know if they actually lost them. Like, to this day, he doesn't think so either. I bet you what happened is the kids got in there, one of them had the earrings and was like, nah, I lost them, bro. I don't know what happened to it. Because let's be honest, if you went from Yu-Gi-Oh cards to diamond earrings, you probably wouldn't want to be letting go of it either. Hey, it's not our fault your kid's stupid. You know, I'm the same age as him and I realize that diamond earrings are more valuable than some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. The worst part of all of this is he didn't even keep the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, bro. He was like so ashamed of them that he ended up throwing them away. So, you know, now those would probably be worth a little bit of money. I don't really know what each Yu-Gi-Oh card is worth, but I know most cards now have gone up in value, so he probably could have paid his parents back, but nah, homie didn't even keep the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so it really wasn't worth it. After that, bro, his mom was mad at him for a bit, kept everything locked up, like all of her jewelry and stuff, you know, didn't really trust him, and like, I, I, I can't, I can't blame her, bro, what do you want me to say about that? Anyways, those guys, I think that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, I would really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the video. And as always, subscribe if you're new and turn on those notifications. Uh, I get comments saying that you guys wanted some stories on Spotify, so I ended up putting some old story times on Spotify. I will put a link in the description. You guys can go check that out if you want. Other than that, there's also a link to the merch store down there. The merch is pretty cool. Obviously, I'm biased, but I definitely think you guys should check it out. And last but certainly not least, if you use code SCRUBBY at the G Fuel checkout, it helps me out, helps you out. You guys get a discount, so be sure to do that. And uh, yeah, on that note, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.